He also participated in the Warren cover-up report, and he was the guy that pardoned none other than Tricky Dick Nixon. Yet he had the world's greatest funerals. America has become a second world country on its way to becoming a third world country. They're headed for one world bank, one army, one world money, etc., etc. And I say, under who? Lucifer? The God of George Bush that tells him to go invade and kill in other countries? Or maybe the God of the Christian wrong? Or the Zionists? Or the Jesuits? I know I didn't vote for a one world order. I say, maybe Swami Beyond Ananda would probably be a better leader. Yeah. As far as people that want to say America is a Christian nation, if I hear that one more time, I think I might throw up on myself. If you want to live in a country ruled by religion, move to Iran. Is this your America? Is this what you signed on for? I know it's not the America I grew up in. This isn't the America our forefathers died for. Our Constitution, Bill of Rights, Declaration of Independence, reduced the toilet paper. The whole world is angry at us. They're angry at us. They hate us. This, after just a few years of W. We're stripping the world of its natural resources and corporate takeovers. God knows Monsanto is actually putting patents on plants in other countries. We have such hypocrisy coming out of this administration. We have the say as I say, not as I do policy. We have preemptive wars now instead of global good neighbor policies. We're living in the days of superstorms, as you can see, and we have an administration that says it's fuzzy science. Preemptive war, bad idea. We've allowed our elections to be stolen. We've allowed two illegal wars. The federal government now has pretty much taken over the National Guard in every state, superseding governors or any rights that any of the states have. And guess what? The National Guard's going back to Iraq. We have people that have never questioned the 2001 Errors and Omissions Report on 9-11. We have an arrogance and abuse of power coming out of this administration that has turned the entire world against us. Why do they hate us? I, I could tell you for hours and hours that you could check my archives for all of that. A lot of you are here, and it's amazing to me, the reaction that I got to my speech in Chicago being online, I still get letters every day. And at that time I had told you what it takes to do what I do and, and what cost it is to me. Yet somebody came out on a website and said that I was a CIA asset. <laughs> I didn't let it bother me because he is a CIA hole. <laughs> the purpose and theme of this conference is accountability. And I'm sure we'd like to see all those who were responsible for September 11 swing from a rope, just like Saddam's dolly did. <laughs> so like I said, we have to start at the beginning. We need to start at the invasion of America and the Holocaust on 12 million Native Americans. And if you don't think concentration still exists, concentration camps in this country, Go see some of the reservations while you're here in Arizona. We need to account. Thanks. We need to account for the Federal Reserve Act of 1913. We need to account for the National Security Act of 1947. To account for slavery, we need to account for Operation Paperclip, which enlisted the worst Nazis in our NASA and our CIA. Whose agenda are they following? We need to account for false flag attacks on the Lusitania, which got us involved in World War I, 
the bombing of Pearl Harbor with foreknowledge by Roosevelt, who lied, Hawks, let it happen on purpose. We need accountability of the secret government that Bill Moyers exposed years ago, who voted for them. We need to account for the Council on Foreign Relations, Bill the Burks, the G8, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the International Banksters, the World Bank, the International Monetary Fund, stolen elections, voting machines, striking African Americans off voter rolls, deserting our brothers and sisters after Katrina, the deliberate destruction of our unions and our workers' rights, Seducing the nation away from mass transportation and making us all dependent on cars and oil. We need to account for the suppression of free energy which has been around since Nikola Tesla. We need accountability for downsizing, for outsourcing American jobs and factories. If we were hit today, we don't have factories to prepare what we need to survive, nor to fight against the enemy. Rosie the Riveter would be out of work. My mother would have been out of work in World War II because she worked in a bomb factory because she believed in what she was doing. And least of all, now I'll get ready, I told you I was going to entertain you and I think a lot of you are pretty swift. In normal times, I'm an artist, I paint. And I honestly believe that one picture is worth a thousand words. So for accountability, I'm going to ask you to just give me one second. Remember, remember the 11th of September. Our entire government's treason plot. I know of no reason why our government's treason should ever be for God. You know, I asked my granddaughter, I said, you know, I got this idea of wearing the mask from V for Vendetta. You think I got the guts to pull it off? She said, oh yeah, Grandma. <laughs> and that, remember, she was the one that told me when I was writing this speech, she said, Grandma, don't forget, remember, remember, the 11th of September. And she's 11. So here's the, here's the speech that he so eloquently gave in that movie. I was like, in love with V. The truth is, there is something terribly wrong with this country, isn't there? Cruelty, injustice, intolerance, and depression. The freedom to object and think and speak as you saw fit. You now have systems of surveillance coercing your conformity, forcing your submission. How did that happen? Who's to blame? Well, certainly there are more that are responsible than others to be accountable. But then, truth be told, to find the guilty party, you only need to look in the mirror. But why did you do it? I know, you were afraid. War, terror, disease. There were a myriad of reasons, conspired to corrupt your reason, and rob you of your common sense. Fear got the best of you, and in your panic, you turned to your government. They promised you order. They promised you peace. And all they demanded in return was your silent, obedient consent. Fairness, justice, and freedom are more than words. They are perspectives. So if you've seen nothing, if the crimes of this government remain unknown to you, then I suggest you allow the 11th of September to pass unmarked. But if you see what I see, if you feel as I feel, and you would seek as I seek, together we will prosecute them for the 11th of September, and it will never be forgotten.